everyone. Today we are going to work on a strategy that can be used at any time. Um, it's called interactive writing and cut up sentences. So we're combining two great strategies that work with kids, especially early readers. So you can do this after you've taught a new concept. You can do it after you've read a book. You can do it after an experience that you've shared together. Um, there's a lot of possibilities for this one. So we have read the book Leonardo and the Terrible Monster. And we love the this book. What did we learn about in this book? What did what was this book about feelings? Yeah. What did what was this book about? Being a good friend. Being a good friend. Was Leonardo um, a good monster? No. <laughs> no. And then who did he try to scare? Sam. Sam. And then what did he learn at the end? What lesson did Leonardo learn? Instead of being a monster, you should be a friend. A good friend. And so we're going to take what we learned from this book, and we're going to write about it. And so, um, Tanner, we learned about being a good friend, so what sentence might we write about being a good friend? I will be a good friend. I will be a good friend. That's what you want to write. So how many words is that? I. There, count it with me. I, I will be a good friend. How many? Six. Six words. We need six words. So all I have is a sentence strip. You could use plain paper too. There's no reason to have to go buy sentence strips, but I find it a little bit easier um, because they have the line for letter formation. Um, so we need six words. And so as a teacher, what I'm thinking about is if I'm going to do all the writing, so if he is at the age where he's not quite ready to put um, what he knows about letter knowledge down on the page, I might do all the writing, and that's totally fine. But Tanner's at the age where he's ready to take over some of those pieces. So I'm going to be strategic on when I hand my pen over to him. So... For example, if your student is thinking about um, beginning sounds of words, you might just have them write the first letter of the word that comes up. With Tanner, we're really working on spacing. We're working on um, lowercase and uppercase letters and making sure that when we're writing words, um, we're not popping in some uppercase throughout. We're also working on sight words. And so I'm going to be really strategic about when I hand the pen over. And the sentence he said is very simple, so that way there'll be a lot of opportunities for him to write. So watch us do cut up sentences and interactive writing together. Okay, Tanner, what sentence did you say again? Always have them repeat it. All right, I. So I'm thinking about that word I. I think you know how to write that one, right? Okay, so do you want to start our sentence off? Right here. Perfect. I, and then I am going to actually write Will. I think that he could figure it out, but I don't want to put too much of the work on him at this point. So I will. will I bet you could do B. Remember to use your lowercase b. Pull down. Yep, go up. Good job. What letter do you need next? Oh. Well, we have to. Let's read it again. I will be. So this word has an E at the end. So let me add that for you. B, A, you can write A. You can write A. Lowercase A right there. A, and then I'm going to do good for him. Good friend. friend. How do we end our sentences, Tanner? What? Do you remember? All right, make sure you put it right on the line down here. Okay, Tanner, use your finger. Let me put this back in the... Use your finger and read our sentence to me. I will be a good friend. And what we're going to do is now that he has his sentence written out... I am going to cut it up into pieces so that he can start connecting the words in sequence, working on left to right directionality. So I'm going to cut it apart. It kind of becomes like a puzzle for them. 
and you can write it on a piece of paper or a whiteboard so that they can practice. And this is a great thing to send home with kids um, if you're a teacher so that they, it's a very simple way to practice one-to-one -one matching without needing a whole lot of materials at home. So Tanner, I have our words here. And remind me, what was our sentence again? I will be a good friend. All right, point to each word and show me again what that sentence says. I will be a good friend. Perfect. Mix it up and try one more time. I will be a good friend. Please. All right, read that one more time to me. I will be a good friend. Please. Awesome job. So this strategy reinforces a couple things that little kids need to know as early readers and writers. And so as a reader, they need to be able to match what the print says to what their voice is going to say. And that one-to-one -one correspondence is a really important skill, and cut-up sentences reinforces that. It also ties it to them what they're going to do as writers, so that they can start transferring that into their own writing, seeing words as units or trying parts of words on their own. For example, Tanner has a lot of his sight words already independently, but the word be, I had to go in there and finish the word for him, which is fine. So now I know as a teacher what, what is another word we can work on um, together. The other thing it helps is really thinking about sentence structure and how the language works in English. So it's a really simple way to scaffold it. It's really powerful for English language learners, um, especially when um, subject verb confusion happens. This can really help get that. Um, how do it, how, what is the sequence of our words, and what is that left to right, to right directionality? Um, how does that work in English? So this is a great strategy that you can do at any time with any content area, and it doesn't take very long. Um, so I hope you'll try it out soon.